Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here. And you guys remember this video, the time resolution video I posted a couple weeks ago? Well, it turns out that I was wrong. So in that video, I talked about how, yes, you should use timer resolution. You should actually use ISLC, set time resolution service, and you'll get higher FPS. Now, the percentage averages were actually not that insane. They're about two more FPS, to be honest. They weren't actually anything insane. You weren't getting a massive FPS boost from these. Well, then I actually had someone come into my Discord, which you can join. Link down below if you guys are interested, named Shaw. He said, hey, um, you should not be using time resolution on new Windows versions. This is actually old news, outdated news. Instead you should be using these certain settings. I will show these settings in a little bit, but basically there's just some BCD edit things that I will link down below if you guys are interested. Um, here is his Twitter, it's Shaw Tweaks, I believe, and follow him if you guys just want some things. He's very good at PC stuff, if you know what I mean. And so we're just gonna talk about that. This is really, honestly, what we're going to be recommending i will be putting outdated in that video just because i want you guys to have the most up-to-date and current information now if you guys do like this content stuff hit the like button subscribe we're trying to grow obviously um i want to get as much fps information out for you guys so let's get right on to the video now as always we will be using cat frame x to test this is the best testing tool this is very simple to use as well. If you want to test at home, you can use CatFrame X. I will be using my 12700K fully overclocked, my 6900 XT fully overclocked, and the games that we will be testing are Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Fortnite, and Valorant. So I actually tested before Apex Legends and CSGO. I'm not using CSGO because it is literally the most useless benchmark. It will literally spit out the same result no matter what changes. Apex Legends has a 300 FPS cap. The minimum difference are not actually insane, and you can pretty much take a very solid guess that if in all three games it is better with this test, it will be better in all games. So we're going to start off with the game that really blew up my channel. Also, these are with 1080p all low settings on every single one of these games, and 1080p all low, three runs of each just to make sure that there's actually no variance we're getting. We want to make these as scientific as possible. So when we compare these right here, so the TR is for time resolution. The unnamed one is the one with these BCD edit settings. So as you can see, first of all, you're getting about 4 FPS on average. It's nothing insane. That's 1%. Oh, wow, 1%. But look, as soon as we get to the 1 percentiles and the 0 0.1 percentiles, we're getting a 34% increase in 1%. And a 30% in 0.1%. Now, what are 1% and 0.1%? These are really the FPS that you feel. You can look at that number and be like, oh, it's at 200, but it's really stuttery. It's really jittery. I'm getting some micro stutters. That means that you will have lows, 1% and 0.1%. A main thing about overclocking is that it will actually increase these a lot, especially maybe you won't see that much in like an average, but you will see a good amount in those percentiles. So this is, you can see 30% more FPS in these lows. That will feel a lot smoother for you guys. Definitely a big deal. Next, we will have the Fortnite settings. Now, Redux is the BCD edit here. And as you can see, not that insane, about 6% in the 1% uh, lows and 5% and 0.1% lows. It's not that insane. For Fortnite, use the benchmark creative map just so that it is something you can test as well if you guys are interested. Now, I did also include mixing timer resolution and these BCD edit settings because when I was testing BCD edit, I did not use timer resolution at all because I was told by Shaw not to. When I mix them, it makes performance worse once again. It does slightly help as you can tell these BCD edit, but you can tell that timer resolution is severely bottlenecking you which is definitely a very big deal. Now we're going to go to Valorant. Valorant is a game that I am very torn about if I want to continue testing this. I am not a massive fan of Valorant just because of some of the things. So 
for example, as you can see, these averages are so insane, but then the one percents and stuff. This is just because I was using the like shooting range and stuff, running around it. And when you're looking out where there's nothing to render, you're like, oh, I'm getting like 2000 FPS. And then you look somewhere else and you're getting like FPS you'd get in the game. It's very dumb. You're getting about 4% in the 0.1% and 4, about well, 5% in both. Nothing substantial, but that's still a good deal. If you can get, if you can get 5% by 30 seconds of typing and in something into your command prompt is highly recommended. But now let's get into actually what are the settings that get you the most FPS? And let's explain them to you guys. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to hit Windows key. And actually, no, you're not going to want to hit Windows key. You're going to right click your task bar, hit task manager. You're going to want to hit file, run new task. And you're going to want to check to create this task with administrative privileges. I am on, I have already like run everything as administrator. And you're just going to type in CMD. This will open up your command prompt. If you do Windows, if you just type in command prompt, you can do run as administrator as well, but you just wanna make sure you're running as administrator so it'll actually do these settings. Now, let me go through these settings real quick. Now, so starting with the BCD edit slash set NX opt out, this is not an insane FPS one. This just lowers your RAM latency a little bit in the IDA benchmark. So there is a little something there. So all you wanna do is you just wanna, uh, just take these from the video description down below. Just right click control C and then hit control V and then enter and it will successfully do it. Now we have BCD delete value, use platform tick and use platform clock. Now the reason I actually did these and if you have never touched these before you will get an error occurred while attempting to delete these. That is okay. These are just for mostly let's say that you followed some guide and it's wrong. We want to make sure that we're resetting these to make sure they are correct. Same thing with use platform clock. We don't want to use... Um, these we want to set these to the windows default and that's why i've done that next we have bcd edit slash set disable dynamic tick if you are on a laptop i would think about maybe not using this one or just keeping on your desktop yes and no so that whenever you want to let's say go on the go you're using your laptop at like school or something this does disable the laptop power savings but it also sets them on the Windows, it says them on desktops that severely will limit desktop performance. That is a, this, the, this is one of the main reasons actually why lows get increased because it's not having to power save. Next we have power CFG dash H off. This is disabling the hibernate feature just because hibernate can cause a lot of issues, especially. So for example, one thing I would highly not recommend is if when you are not using your PC, just turn it off. Don't put it in sleep turn the actual PC off. You don't want to keep it on. You know, a lot, a lot of issues from your PC will come from not for actually turning it off or restarting. Just turn the PC off when you're not using it. It'll also save a lot of power just because, hey, there's really no power being pulled from the PC. So once you have done that, as you can see, this one doesn't actually give a prompt. All you will have to do now is just restart your PC and these settings will be, a, will be set. Hope this video helped you guys. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. Tell me down below some things that you would actually want to see. Like, for example, what kind of tests you want to see, what kind of videos, maybe some products you want to review. For example, one product I'm looking at reviewing now is these IEMs, the Moondrop Arias. If this video got you more FPS, hit the like button. Subscribe. That. Join the Discord. Because who doesn't want more FPS, right? Yeah. Peace.